Today is seeding day, so I've got the seed. I've also got some peat moss and I have some topsoil. The topsoil is to fill in all the gaps that were left uh, by the uh, sprinkler install. So first off, I am going to level that out. Then I'll go over, um, probably go over the trenches first, put enough seed down there and I'll overseed the rest of the lawn. Uh, one thing that I've been doing some research into is leaving the plugs, the very few plugs that actually came out of the ground. We have plenty of holes. Um, but some areas did actually end up with plugs. I'm going to leave them there. Uh, there'll be some peat moss going over a lot of the uh, bare spots. Um, but I'm definitely going to leave the plugs there and we'll see how this goes. It's all a learning experience, so for next year I'll know whether to leave them or not. So I'm going to get on with this and uh, start filling in the gaps. So all the trenches are filled in and leveled off as best as I can do. Now, I'm not too sure what was going on over here, the previous owner, uh, so I'm going to seed it and then hope for the best. Now I'm not looking for a golf course quality flatness here. So the seed that we're going to be using is um, Scott's um, Landscapers Mix. Now the reason uh, I got the Landscapers Mix is um, I wasn't looking to go and spend too much on grass seed and uh, I want something that's going to grow. I'm not too concerned on type of grass that grows. I just need something to grow and then I can work with it from there. So I got this, I think it's about, about $35 a bag and it covers 8,000 square feet when overseeding. So that gives me 16,000 square feet and this bit of lawn at the back here is 10,000 square feet. So I've got 6,000 square feet. Uh, the seed that would cover 6,000 square feet left over. So I'm that's what I'm going to use for filling in the spaces. So on the back it does give you all the information. So I will be overseeding at five and a half of my spreader. And then for, I probably won't use the spreader for the, um, the bare spots. Uh, I'll probably do that by hand. Then I'll just roughly apply what I think after I did a little bit of research, but I'm going to go for there, so I'll get to that. So, I made sure my spreader is set to five and a half. I put the uh, edge guard on. I'm just going to go around the perimeter first. And then I will start going back and forth in the middle. I'm not going to be too concerned if I go over the uh, trenches get some seed on there then I can go back and then and fill them so I have finished seeding I've gone over everything with the spreader and I've gone back over everything um, put down a nice coating over the um, trenches i don't know if this is the correct way to do it but i am going to actually run over them with a the spreader and then just make sure that everything around them is spreaded and i'll go over with peat moss turn the sprinklers on um, i might actually put starter fertilizer down i'm in two minds whether to do that today or wait seven days before up here on the uh, deck and we can see we can even see the seed actually on um, some of the trenches there so i'm going to put the peat moss on Turn the sprinklers on and we are done. Well guys, I'm going to continue on like that. I'm not going to go through the whole process, can I get it? I'm going to cover all the seed. I'm going to probably go around and rake um, the seed in where I'm not going to be putting too much um, peat moss on. Turn the sprinklers on. Um, it's been four days since I planted this seed and we've got some germination. That's pretty impressive. Um, I'm just out here inspecting. Uh, lawn because we had a, a rather bad rainstorm last night now this is day seven so i seeded last saturday today is saturday <coughs> and it's the third of october i believe and i am putting a little bit of water down we've had a fair bit of rain i definitely think that has helped aid the uh, germination on this lawn but 
I woke up this morning, had a look out, and I could barely even see the trenches. I mean, it's lighter grass, but um, with the sun glaring down this morning um, out the window, could not see uh, the trenches. So I came outside, and I'm really impressed with the germination rate here. I don't know what it's like actually in the lawn. Uh, I don't want to walk over it and really find out, especially with newer grass seed there. Sprinklers are working well. Only issue I do see is some clumps of peat moss, but it looks like the grass seed is coming through. So I'm just going to leave that there and then hope that it breaks through. But I, I'd really want to see further down here, see how the germination rate has been um, where we dethatched and there's been bare spots of soil underneath um, and it's going to come in with uh, where the grass al that already was there is. Uh, I just want to see how that has really started to take because somewhere like here is actually had a really poor um, germination rate. I think that might have been uh, purely because everything was washed away from here but then here where the peat moss was down is doing great down there and I don't know if you can see right about there is doing really good too and then over here we're actually getting and some. I will keep you updated and um, keep an eye on Instagram uh, I'll link my page down below um, so you can follow the progress of this seed I will do updates when I can and when there is any updates hopefully this process works and if you uh, like what you're seeing here please watch another video and uh, there's plenty more coming thanks